Hi, I'm Alex Joseph from Doc365. We know you are doing fantastic today. Let me show you how to use Embed WebPod to add content into a SharePoint website. Microsoft SharePoint is exceptional when it comes to managing, sharing, and organizing content well. With the help of an Embed WebPod, you can show external site content in your SharePoint site pages. I will show you how to add an Embed WebPod to one of your SharePoint site pages and show content from external sites in your SharePoint pages. I'm going to show this from one of my SharePoint sites called Marketing Updates. So we are in the site already. You can choose one of the pages from your SharePoint site to do this. So I am choosing the page marketing strategies for this process. So uh, there is already a video or YouTube video embedded into this page. And there is also a PDF file embedded from one of the other sites. So let me do this from another page or let's just create a new one. So um, I will just create a new page for this purpose. So it will be more clear. So let's choose page, click on new and click page. Let's choose a blank page for this. Click on create. Oh, we'll just give the input. In. As this is a tutorial page, I am just giving it the name Hamburg video page. So uh, the, this page is live now. So usually you will have so many content over here regarding the topic you have chosen. So uh, to add an embed web part into this page, you just need to click on the edit icon over here. So the page will be converted to edit mode. First, you just need to click on this plus icon in the left side and create a layout. So I'm just choosing a single layout for now. So a new section is added over here. Click on the plus icon from the middle. This is how you can add web parts to your SharePoint site pages. You will get all kinds of SharePoint web parts from this uh, small window. We will just choose the input web part from this section. Click on it. Here you will get a, a text field where you need to enter the embed code from the external site. Uh, the most easiest and one of the most popular sites that is allowing embedding is YouTube, Vimeo and Flickr. So let me show you how to embed a YouTube video first. We are choosing our, our own YouTube channel. Let me pick one of our latest videos. So go to the video page and click on share. From there, you can click on embed and copy the embed code. Come back to your page. And paste the embed code in the website address field. So the video will be automatically generated here with the company. So you can give a caption if required and just check on other options resize to pick the page. Enable it if needed as your requirement and click on republish. So this page will now show this particular video from YouTube. So that's the basic steps you need to follow when you want to 
show as show a content from a different site in your SharePoint website page. So uh, that's one way you can do this. And let, I will show you one more way to do this or from a different site. For that, you can again go to the go to edit mode and choose edit layout click on embed web plot and let me show you how to embed a ebook from the script website so this is the a particular pdf file i wish to embed into my sharepoint site page so click on the embed option here and from here you can copy the embed code of this particular content come back to your website uh, sharepoint site page and paste the embed code over here so like in the case of a uh, youtube video the video file will be automatically generated over here you can give the caption and enter text if you wish you can uh, choose other options to require to just make the page look more complete and full of information now once all the changes are made click on republish so the page will be back live with all new content from the external sites you have chosen Here it is. So uh, if you don't see that content from the external side, just refresh the page um, by clicking on uh, hard reset, hard refresh, like control F5. So definitely it will be shown over here. There are some cases um, in which you might encounter some issues with this process. Most probably some of the uh, site owners, your SharePoint admins might have blocked or might not have uh, issued permission for normal users to uh, embed content from external sites. So what you uh, admin or you need to do is go to the settings page, go to the settings site settings page, and click on HTML field security. From here, you can choose the site from which you wish to input a content into your SharePoint site page. Here, I have already added YouTube and there are many other documents or SharePoint sites, other sites, external sites, etc. Script is also there. That's why I was able to add it. Uh, I think Vimeo is not in the list. So if you wish to add any content from Vimeo to your SharePoint pages, you need to enter the Vimeo domain here. Click on add so that you can embed content from that site easily. Click OK after making all the changes. So that's some uh, general information you might need when you are trying to uh, use the embed web part in SharePoint to uh, showcase content from other sites in your SharePoint site pages. We already have a blog on this topic and you will see all kinds of information in this blog regarding the embed web part. So this would be very helpful if you wish to make use of this feature in your SharePoint site pages. Hope you learned how to use embed web parts in your SharePoint site pages to showcase content from external sites. If you have any queries, let us know in the comments. Have a good day.